I've been having dreams about falling in love. It feels so real, but nobody is here when I wake up. Do you know my name? The devil's in the detail. I'm a natural born killer. Welcome to my revolution 
better to talk about the upcoming Memorial Cup than a guy who's actually hoisted the trophy, Ray Ferraro. Does that conjure up some memories there for you? Yeah, you bet it does. What a what an awesome time in your career. You, it's the most important games that you've played in your life, really, until that time. And now for most of these players, it, it'll be the biggest games they ever play. But there's also NHL scouts here. There's draft rankings on the line. This is a fantastic tournament to play in. 1983 has been a few years. Do you still remember the moment, though? I do, because it turned out, uh, as it turned out, rather, that's the only tournament we ever won. The only one I was ever on the winning side of. Well, let's look at this year's edition, because one of, one of the players... That We are getting closer to puck drop for this Memorial Cup in game one here. We bring Ray Ferraro back into the fold, and boy, the scout cams should be on full display tonight, won't they? Yeah, there'll be a bunch of people wearing black jackets. That's what the scouts wear, and they'll be sitting up in the corners of the rink watching these players really closely. Now, they've got a book pretty much on every player by this point in the season, but these are critical games to watch how they'll play against the very best competition. This absolutely will help determine where a player will go in the draft. Oh, I'm sure they're playing in those bright lights. And how do you respond? And, you know, one of the other players that a lot of people have been talking about. Friends, welcome back to EA Sports. Beautiful night for hockey. He's Ray Ferraro. I'm James Sabalski. Let's get it going tonight. The officials there at center, and I think we are about to get this one underway. Musa quickly over to Svetlikov. Pass across to Hoffman. And that's out of reach and out of the offensive zone. Comes up with a monster save in front. Sharp reaction save. Still plenty of time left in this frame. Still scoreless in this one. Everett's won the draw. And that doesn't reach the net. Puck scooped up by Sevigny. He's doing the best he can here. He just wants to get himself off the ice as quickly as he can. Looks like he's on the limp here a little bit. Picked up along the boards by Sutter. Here's a short pass to Hoffman. Here's an odd man rush. It's a two on one. St. John's gained possession along the boards. Looking for space inside the D zone. Quick pass to Hoffman. And that goes off the player in front. That pass goes a little sideways. Stays with it. And that's broken up. He almost lost it for a second there, but regains control of the puck. Cuts to the paint. Passes over to Reynolds. Gets it back. There's a solid collision. And that's just out of reach. The Silvertips gain possession along the wall. Sends the pass in front. This is it off again here. Moves it to the middle. And he shuts down a great scoring chance there. Big save by the goaltender once again. Scooped up along the wall by Anderson. And he makes the save. Taken by Hoffman. Puck picked up by Anderson. Stopped by the goaltender getting a piece of that one. 
They're really clicking here in the offensive end. All sorts of pressure. That's picked up by the D. Oh, and that's intercepted. There's a hit. And that's taken in the corner. And the D's got it in the own end. Oh, there's some body contact. And there's a hit with a little violence. And they'll skate it out of the zone. Throws it in. Everett's got the puck along the boards. Break away. Oh, what a stop by the goaltender. It's like he almost deeped himself out. There was nowhere to go with him. The goalie makes the save. Everett's got the puck along the wall. The Silver Tips ready to go on the attack. Spectacular stop by the goaltender. How did he hang on to that? Score! And it gets right back to him, and he puts it home. really strong to be productive in that down low area. You got a lot of big defensemen that are shoving you out of the way. You make that first shot, you better find that rebound if it's there. That's money. Back down to ringside we go and check in with Ray Ferraro. Well, the coach has not spent much time having to deliver a message, but he's gone to his rookie, and he wants him to help continue this momentum that they've built. They've been aggressive, they've been on the puck, and they want this to continue. Past the midway mark of the frame, James and Ray with you tonight. It's all tied up. The Silvertips win possession here in the open ice. And that pass doesn't go. Can't make the connection on the pass. Everett's got a hold of it against the wall. And he takes a shot. Oh, what a slick stuff by Putnode. And he takes the dish. Great reach with the stick by Svetlikov. Standing by our own Colin Dave with all the ladies. Thanks so much, James. You know, the rookie is playing in his very first Memorial Cup. And the hype around social media is real. They're calling him a game changer for whatever team gets him. Yeah, a lot of buzz about him as play continues here. This they are really applying the squeeze now in the offensive end. Sends it in on the attack. Everett's got a hold of it along the wall. Here's the chance. Oh, Lord. Scores! Pretty deceptive move here. Short little breakaway. He makes no mistake. Back downstairs before the next face-off, we get to Ray Ferraro. Ray? Well, the kid comes back after his last shift, and he gets a tap from the coach because he's done a good job. The coach gave him some specific instructions, and it's not always easy to carry him out, but he was letter perfect. That'll do it for the opening frame. We've got lots more still in store, so don't even think about going anywhere for rail function. James Sabalski, Ray Ferraro bringing you all the action. Period number two is about to go. Second frame is underway as the puck is dropped. Ray, while we have a moment, give me a sense of what you made of that first period. The Sea Dogs haven't had possession of the puck much at all. As a result, they're trailing in this game. And here we go. Buckle up. That looked like a mismatch at the start, too, James. It certainly played out that way. Uh, I don't like when the guys start throwing them like that. Somebody looks like... Ray, you picking up anything between the benches over there? Yeah, James. I mean, it's an old message from coaches whose teams are playing well and not really blown the game wide open. Don't get frustrated. He continually talks about it, and he's stopped and talked to the kid a couple of times about it. They want them to continue to pressure. Hoffman's won the face-off. Unable to reach that one. All alone! Oh, what a stop! 
Goaltender comes up big in good position to make the save. Scores! And there's the hat trick and the silence this crowd on the road. God, that feels good when you can zip up the home team's arena. Great feeling. Three goals will do it. I've scored a lot of goals like this. I'm telling you, James, once you get in there, you can't turn your back away from the shot. Everett's now gone up by a pair in the second. So they've got a two-goal lead. Some people say it's the worst lead in hockey. Well, guess what? I'll take the worst lead as opposed to trailing by two. Yeah, you know what's better than down by two? Being up by two, of right? Of course it Simple. is. Well, James, you run around like that, you're going to have to pay the price eventually. And what that means is you're going to have to fight. Here he goes. Good old-fashioned Donnybrook here. Score that as a point in Greco-Roman style there, Ray. Uh, I think what you got there, James, is two guys that are just tired of punching each other in the face. Looks like the emotions have settled down. They've got calm back on the ice, and let's get this puck dropped once again. Everett's got it in the offensive zone. Shot! And that's blocked in traffic. Face-off coming up as the puck goes up and over the glass. Lots of hockey left to be played in this period. Everett's got a 3-1 lead as they have dominated for the most part in this. The Silvertips win the faceoff. Nice feed. Takes a shot. And that goes off someone in front that doesn't reach the net. Makes a move in front. And he makes the save. Looks to set up at the point now. Quick feed to Hoffman. Siege and finally grabs that one and covers up for a whistle. Puck ready to drop here any moment to get things underway again. St. John's looking to break out. Oh, and that's poked away in the offensive zone by Swetlikoff. Moves it to Burns. And they fail to go tape to tape. The Silvertips gain control of the puck against the wall. Great save from in tight. Hoffman's looking a little rejuvenated. He had that fight earlier. Now he had a five-minute break to rest, but he's back at it. A good shot on goal. And he regains control of the puck. Couldn't make the connection on the play. Keeps hold of the puck. Sometimes the puck just follows you around and you can't score. Tonight, every time it lands on the stick, it's in the back of the net. What a great night. Everett's now up by two in the second. They worked hard to push this lead from one to two. I like the way that they've been playing. And play resumes as the puck is dropped. Moves it quickly over to 2-4. Getting a little physical there with that collision. Six minutes, 29 seconds. Hoffman's almost rubbing it in at this point. Offensively, he's dominated the game. Every time he touches the puck, it seems like it's in the back of the net. And every time he gets within 10 feet of it, they start to boo him. Nearing the midway mark of the period, Everett's really controlled the pace of play these last few minutes, leading by two. The Silvertips move the puck in the defensive zone. Oh, look at this. Here they come. They've got numbers. And the puck dies with the trapper save. More than half the period has gone by. Hope you're enjoying this one. Everett's doubled up on them. It's now 4-2. Hoffman's got the puck, and they'll go on the attack. There's the whistle as the puck goes out of play. Officials are set. Players seem ready. We're ready to get this thing back underway. Play resumes here as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. St. 
John's got the puck. Whistle on that. Here's a short pass to Hoffman. Stopped by the goaltender. Approaching the final 60 seconds here in the second. In the final moments of the... Period. 4-2 is the score. The Sea Dogs get a hold of the puck in their own end. Everett's got possession of the puck. Shuts it down with the paddle. What a stop. Scores on the rebound and puts it home. Everett's offensive performance is still in full effect here, even in the late stages of this period. They haven't taken their foot off the gas pedal yet. They are still pushing for more offense. And now it's grabbed by Zellweger. Moves the puck. Passes it over to Burns. Knocks the puck away in the open ice. And he takes the feed. No one back. A 2 on 0 Pat Note's going to bounce on it, and he'll take the whistle. He's usually a pretty conservative goaltender anyway, and so the opportunity to kill the play, he's going to take it. The setters will glide into the dot. Everett's won the face-off. Here's a shot, and he makes the save. And there's the buzzer bringing the second period to an end. You don't want to go home yet, do you? Third period action still to come. Two down, one to go. Third period, they're ready to drop the puck. It's been a total mismatch here as we get underway for the third. Let's see if anything changes. Pat Notes on top of that one for a whistle. A little bit of traffic starting to form around the net. I like this by the coach here, James. He's gone to his youngest player, the rookie, and he's reminding him to play safe at this time of the game. You got the lead. You don't necessarily need another goal. You don't need turnovers. And as I tell my kids, Razor, safety never takes a holiday. Still early on in this frame, James and Ray with you. So glad you could join us. The Silver Tips have taken control of this one, now leading by three. Hoffman's won the draw here in the offensive zone. Cut into the glove by Patnode. <laughs> Everett.
Cover, it's got it, and they're on the attack. Cutting to the front of the net. Big save by the goaltender watching that one. That happened so quickly, that low slot shot. The goal, yeah, after the teammate got hurt, he jumped right in. He's going to make them try and pay a price. We got ourselves a fight here. And the takedown brings this one to an end. There's lots of times the gloves come off with about two seconds in. Somebody's looking for the exit room. There it is. <laughs> well said. Play set to resume here finally after a spirited scrap just moments ago. St. John's got a hold of the puck. Sends it over to McDonald. From the left side, they gain the zone. on the play. They're gonna go. Yeah, he's not gonna have a choice here. He's been running around a little bit, been getting a little chippy, and now he's gonna have to drop the mitts and answer for it. in control of this boat from the get-go and takes him down to finish it off. The gloves are back on, the buckets are strapped back in, and we still got a game to play here with an upcoming face-off. Hoffman's won a big draw on their own end. Aaron pass, and the play's broken up. The Silvertips gain possession in their own end. Fails to find the open man. Hoffman's crossed the line. Break away. Scores! Wow, what a goal! Nice hands. Great finish. Little short break in, in the net. The silver tips continue to... here in this third period. They can do no wrong. It doesn't seem to matter who's on the ice. They're the better team. Hoffman's one possession. Can't make it work. Wright's working it around in the corner. Everett's got control of the puck. Takes a shot. Oh, -ho! great glove save. Where'd that come from? And the setters glide towards the dot here as we got a face-off set to go. Tries to feed it over to McDonald. Oh, they probably want to redo on that. And it's in again! Oh my goodness, what a night the whole team is having here. And it's not a good one. You can't find the exit fast enough if you're a player or a fan. And what a rotten night. Everything that they've tried to make happen has gone wrong for them. This can't end fast enough. Goes right to the crease. Scores! This is getting insane. It is crazy how often the puck tonight seems to end up on his stick. And then when it's on his stick, it ends up in the net next. What a game. The Sea Dogs win the faceoff. Puck sent over to Trent Holm. And he takes the pass. Reaches out and uses the stick. Couldn't catch up to that pass. Goaltender hangs on for the whistle. It's won the draw and they'll go to work. Cuts to the front. Oh, and that one comes up short as he just gets enough of that one. Here's a shot. Oh, he gets a blocker on him. What a stop by Couture. And I think he's seen enough because he stops the play covering up the puck. Oh, guys are going to be bent over trying to gasp for breath. They'll be in favor of that move.
Hoffman's won the draw here, and they'll go on the attack. Here's a chance, and he comes up with it. And the goaltender grabs that one for a whistle to try to slow things down here. Looks like lineups are set, and they're ready to get things back underway. The Silvertips take possession off the faceoff. Takes it to the front! The Sea Dogs look to start the transition game. Twists one! And he scores! Out yeah! And what a night for him! You think after three you might let down? Not him! They keep coming! You get down into that low slot, you don't have much time to deliver it. That puck's on and off the stick in a hurry and into the net. Everett's added to their lead here in this third period. It's been non-stop. I like how they've scored and then gone after the next one, James. They've had their foot down on the gas pedal the whole night. The Silvertips will play it in their own end. All alone! What a stop by the goalie! Yeah, he looked really... He scores! You talk about memorable nights. This has to be right up there. Man, it's like he's in practice. Every time he shoots the puck, it ends up in the back of the net. What a game for him. Treadles won the draw here in the open ice. Oh, look at a stick lift on the play. He comes up with the puck. A quick shot. Gets a stick on it. What a stop by Couture. take possession here inside the offensive zone. How did he stop that one? Oh, you're not going to get a better chance than that, but the goalkeeper does a great job. The Sea Dogs take it along the wall. Just a crushing hit against the wall. And here we go. I think both players are happy this one's come to an end here, Ray. Oh, I've seen this fight before. That's the move before you get punched in the face. I used to do it in the few that I had. Try and get out of there before you get beat up. Did they find his tooth? I don't know if they did, but nevertheless, both teams lining up for the faceoff. Treadles won the draw. Oh, that's got to hurt. What a play. One on one with the goaltender. Here we go. What a great play to get in on the goaltender all by himself, but turned away with an excellent save. Everett's got a hold of the puck now. That's his second. Their line has played really well, James. I like the way they've moved the puck, and finally they're rewarded again. He's got a vote. Everett's only continued to extend the lead here in the third. They haven't missed many chances. They've scored at will, and now we're coasting home. Plays the puck into that play. Well, that's the end of his shift. Man, James, he took a huge score. Chance to score. You don't miss on nights like this. Goalie just can't keep up with this. He's close to the net, but he's still able to have enough room to beat the goaltender. 
The Sea Dogs get a hold of the puck off the line. Puck grabbed by Vilda. A shot turned aside with the glove by Couture. Goaltender covers up. We got a stoppage in play. Officials have got both teams ready, and it looks like play is set to resume here. The Silver Tips win the draw. Can't find his man. The Silver Tips carry it along the wall. Nice save from point blank range. Sometimes very close, there's no room to put it anywhere. The goalie smothered it all. Everett's got control of it now here in the offensive end. Oh, what a chance, and it goes sideways. And that slides right out to center ice. Unloads a shot! Oh, and another beauty stop right there! Couture's one of the group today for sure. It's not been very good from him all the way up. Answered the call on that play. It's a really hard save for the goalie to make. I mean, coaches are always telling the people in front of the net. Screen the goalie, take their eyes away. Make sure to put a blindfold over. any more than that, but he fought the lane, found the puck, and made the save. One minute left. And that'll do it for ringside here. Everett's performance, a lot to like in so many areas. What popped for you? For me, James, it's the way that they controlled the puck. They had it on their stick most of the time. They controlled much of the game. Absolutely phenomenal performance. And you to talk a little more about what we saw on the ice is Ray Ferraro. And Razor, I mean, what does that do for his draft stock? Oh, man, it'll uh, it'll put a rocket to it. If he continues to play in this tournament like that, the scouts are going to get more and more interested. Also, a little more jittery as they might have had a player slotted in a certain area of the draft. He plays like that. He's going to jump a couple of spots. I don't know what you been told, I know something you don't know. Story so tick so tick all blinded by the same old show. I don't know what you been told, I know something you
can you hear me when i call your name it's kind of scary it's like i'm calling the dead and late at night when i'm thinking about it i get chills it's oh horrible i could be a coward and run away if i'm out of one i'm in your face i pull up on you i'm at your door Welcome, everybody, along with Ray Ferraro. I'm James Sabolski to this EA Sports Showdown, and we are fired up. Let's drop the puck already. And we are about set to drop the puck tonight. The Silver Tips start with possession as we are now underway. To the low slot, and he misses on the play. The best scorers don't miss the net from this position. And here we yeah, this one was uh, to be expected. After the player got hurt, you would hope his teammate would jump in and try and defend him. the takedown but those are sometimes dangerous out there right uh they can be I mean, honestly you can land on the side of your head and you've got a real problem i'd like to see the linesman drop on the ice and give it the one two three you're out <laughs> count them out they've got the debris all cleared up off the ice and both teams step in for the face off offense is on face off and he wins the draw here's a shot turns it aside with the glove Dangerous spot in the slot, and the goalie comes up big with the glove stop. James Sabalski, Ray Ferraro with you here in the early going of this period. Still scoreless in this one. Back underway as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. And a little body contact on that play. They're going to go. Yeah, he jumped in pretty quickly after his teammate got hurt. He wants to defend here. effective use of the wrestling move yeah you don't see that all the time but this fight had punched itself out well it looks like the officials have got all the debris off the ice and we're back to getting some hockey going again the silver tips will go to work here in the offensive zone takes it to the net and the goaltender comes up with a piece of it to keep it out of the net Quick feed to Hoffman. Puck scooped up by Terigny. Horschel is moving it ahead. Well, James, you run around like that, you're going to have to pay the price eventually. And what that means is you're going to have to fight. Here he goes. Good old-fashioned Donnybrook here. And good night. That looked like a mismatch at the start, too, James. It certainly played out that way. And after that tilt, looks like cooler heads have finally prevailed and we're ready to drop the puck once again. Everett's won the draw in the neutral zone. Skates to the crease! Now when I'm playing at home, I love if we could get on the board first. It really makes you feel like you can throw four or five into the net. Still plenty of time left in this frame. one nothing is where we sit at this point. The Silver Tips win possession here in the open ice. And look at... Yeah, once he gets into the clear, it's like he's so good. Back downstairs to Ray's side we go. It's Ray Ferraro standing by. I find it interesting, James, always when the game starts to get a little easy that the coach reminds the players, you've still got to work. He went right to his youngest players. These goals have piled up to not take a bat to continue to drive and score more. Everett's won the draw and they take possession here in the open ice. Chris shot from the slot. I think he's the most surprised guy in the 
Ray, correct me if I'm wrong. Did I just see a pat on the back for the rookie there? Yeah, he's done a nice job tonight. The coach asked him to make sure he kept his energy high, and he's done a really good job. I've been very impressed with this rookie. Everett's won the draw. And it's a quick pass to Berzowski. Everett's got the puck against the boards. value was on the ice here, playing hockey, generating chances. He got frustrated and got into that fight earlier. He's not helping his team at all there. Oh, and that's poked away the offensive zone by Gus. Oh, he had the right idea, but couldn't make that play with the pass. Moves the puck into the attacking area. Dumps the puck in. The Silver Tips have it now. Here he comes. In on the breakaway. Huge stop on the breakaway. Oh, you don't get many of these. Right in on goal, but the goal is better. With the play. They are so hot right now. Every pass, every shot is right in the perfect place. Still a lot of time left in the period as we approach the midway mark. The Winnigan's been dominated to this point, trailing by three. Taken by Fairbrother. Fires it! Stopped by the goaltender. He got a little piece of that one. Oh, he reads the play really well to get out and aggressive to make that save. Takes him a shot. Denies him in front. Somehow the shooter got loose in the slot, but the goaltender's equal to the task. That's a good save. Look at the attack of the Centers are set, face off, ready to resume play. Hoffman's won the draw inside the neutral zone. Moves into the spot. Oh, did he ever come up huge between the pipes? What a save! This is a real strength for the goaltender, the one-on-one -on -one battle. He gets out, focuses in on the shooter, takes all the room away, and makes the stop. And a quick solid hit on that play. Yeah, after the teammate got hurt, he jumped right in. He's going to make him try and pay a price. We got ourselves a fight here. And hanging on for dear life, and this one comes to an end. That doesn't feel any, very good either when you get dropped onto the ice like that. It's, it's going to hurt a little bit. Probably less to get punched in the face, though. A wild couple of minutes there, and things have finally cooled down as both teams will settle in for the faceoff. Past the halfway mark of this period, the Silver Tips are on the cusp of making this a blowout, leading by four. Play resumes here as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. Takes it into the slot, blocked by Cologne. Here's a backhander, being stopped by the keeper. Great position, and once he makes that first save, he's got to be in the... They're going to go! Yeah, he's not going to have a choice here. He's been running around a little bit, been getting a little chippy, and now he's going to have to drop the mitts and answer for it. Oh, and he caught him right there, and that'll pretty much do it. Yeah, that's not going to go to the judges. a rather spirited affair on the ice. Looks like both teams have pulled their jets. And here's the upcoming face-off. The Silver Tips win it. And here's the pass to Berzowski. He does it! Officials are in position, and both teams are getting ready as they get set for another face-off here. Puck picked up by Fairbrother. And now it's grabbed by the dude. The Winnigan's got it in their own zone. Angles it over to Hoffman. Cut it to the slot. Gives them nothing in front. Another stop by the goaltender. 
Got some great goaltending there. Stop one, stop two. Both of them turned the side. This is ours. Gained possession and his great work inside the face-off circle pays off again. Settles things down and gets control of it once again. Makes the save, but barely with that one. I can't wait for this. We'll come back to period number two in just a moment. Here we go. Period number two is underway where it is too much to not enough here. Ray, you're between the benches. How do you see things after that first period? Shawinigan's looking to overcome that slow start. He just didn't have it early. And by the time their legs started to come around, they were chasing the game. The second period gives them a new opportunity. You get one, you get hungry for a second one. Even if you're not a goal scorer, Get that early. Now you want to hunt for a second goal. Makes it a double. Ray, give us a sense of what the strategy is here. Well, it's a strategy of caution, really, James. The coach wants them to be safe, to get the puck in deep, to protect this lead. And I found it interesting. He stopped at the creative rookie and told him the puck has to go forward. He might be a little nervous that the kid might try a risky play. Everett's quickly filling up the highlight reel shows for later this evening, Ray. They are, even though it's in the second period still, they have scored almost at will tonight. Poked away in the neutral zone by Terzowski. And now he moves it quickly to Tournier. Takes the feed at center and moves forward. 
Nadeau's got it in the offensive zone. Here's a short pass. To He's got a little jump. All alone. Big time stop on the break. Goalie came out, matched the shooter's speed, and shut down the chance. Both teams are set. They're ready to drop the puck. Quick pass to Seely. Slides the puck ahead into the neutral zone. Guts been all over the place. It's like there's two of them on the ice. He's already got three points. Nevada is going to cover up the puck here for a whistle. He makes a safe play and kills the play before any other damage can be done. And momentum on their side as they win the draw here inside the offensive zone. That's a scorer's goal right there. That puck is on and off his stick in a hurry. He's so tight to the net. He has to get rid of it before the goalie can readjust. Shawinigan's won it. Quick feed to Nadeau. The Silvertips have it against the wall. It's a 2 on 0 Tremendous close save by Lavelle. And he came out and challenged him. Good save. won the face-off. Oh, they couldn't connect on the play. And now he tries to get it across to Hoffman. Everett's regained possession of the puck. Moves inside. Denied by Lavelle. Lavelle's played poorly. The forwards and defensemen have played poorly. You can wrap a goal around this one, James, and package it up. That's a bad night. Officials getting ready to drop the puck. Puck possession so key in today's game. Hoffman's won the face off deep inside the offensive zone. Here he is with the backhander. Makes the save with the foot. Drives it to the crease. Fires one on goal. And there's the save. Everett's gained possession along the boards. Takes a shot. He scores! And he is having a night tonight! Sometimes the puck just follows you around and you can't score. Everett's opposition can't be feeling too good tonight about now, Ray. No, they're looking at the clock and hoping they go to straight time and this thing can end in a hurry. Hoffman's won the draw. Can't make the connection on the pass. The Silvertips take possession here in the open ice. Whoa, he scores! This might be a near for you moment for so many of these fans. Man, again, he gets a chance on goal, and he makes no mistake about it. The Cataracts win the draw here in the neutral zone. Poked away at center by Duck. Everett's got the puck along the boards. Here's a chance, a 2 on Moves it to Hoffman. Tries to the crease. And just got a piece of it to keep it out. Slides it over to Booth. Here's a short pass to Hoffman. Kind of lost control for a second there, but regains possession. Moves it quickly over to Hoffman. Gets the blow on it. Felt like a... On fire. Sometimes it's just your night. You shoot the puck and goes in the net. He's had an unbelievable evening. The Silvertips widen the gap yet again here, Ray. As an offensive player, when these nights happen, you can't get out there fast enough. You think each shift is going to bring you another goal. To the front! Grabs the puck in the slot! Oh, what a slick stop by Lavalle! 
I like the goalie's positioning here. He was aggressive enough to make a save on a dangerous chance. Oh, after being on the receiving end of that hit, James, no surprise. He's heading slowly to the bench. Great poke by Berezowski. The Cataracts gain possession along the wall. With some open space at center. Sends it into the offensive zone. He looks deep to Hoffman. Look out, here's a 2 on And makes the save. Gonna slow things down and up for the whistle. Oh, you gotta kill the play eventually. That way everyone can get reorganized. Both teams are set. They're ready to drop the puck. All right, that brings period number two to an end. Uh, the ice resurfacers coming out onto the ice. They'll give it a little cleaning, and I can see Ray Ferraro down there between the benches tap dancing. I can only imagine where he needs to go. Third period, just around the corner. Break away! Oh, what a stop! Oh, goaltender looks so sure as he made that stop on the breakaway. Moves into the offensive zone. Quick pass to Nadeau. And that's blocked from someone in front. In all alone, on the breakaway! Oh, what a stop by the goaltender. I thought he was beaten, but he makes a nice stop here. Denies him again! That pass doesn't go. Wrist one. Save made by the goalie. They are really pouring on the pressure here. Takes the puck. Look at this, the cycle came in full effect here. And the defensive team's got it now. Oh, look at that hit. And a missed pass hangs all that pressure. Moves it up through the middle for the right. Big time stop. Tremendous pressure here in the offensive end. Grabs the puck. Takes the puck. Look at this. Move the middle. And the defenders take possession. Picked up along the boards. Look at this. Move to the middle. Goaltender covers it up. We get a whistle to slow things down. Quick feed down low. And he slides it quickly to Hoffman. Takes the feed. Drives to the paint. Denies him in close. Read of the play was perfect, but it's his quickness that gets out tight to the puck, so the shooter can't elevate it anywhere. There's nowhere for the puck to go. Oh, they probably want to redo on that. With the puck under siege, can he get out of the zone here? Quick pass to both one. Nice zone entry from the right side. Bordwine's got the puck. Handles it along the blue line. The silver tips get a hold of the puck along the boards. Trying to shake loose. Great save! And another save! Bang, bang. He scores! Oh, yeah. What a night for him. You think after three you might let down? Not him. They keep coming. Both centers ready to take the draw here coming up. It's got a hold of the puck off the draw. Cuts to the paint. Great stop by Lavalle. That's a really good save. I think the goalie's probably surprised he was dead center and open to shoot that puck. Dubé's moving pretty slowly out there, banged up a little bit. He's just trying to get through this shift. And they managed to clear it. Everett's got the puck along the wall. Tarasowski's got control of the puck in the corner. Here's a shot. And he makes the stop with the glove. Lavalle is going to hang on to that one for a whistle. Quickly on top of that, James. He needed a cover there. The Silver Tips win the faceoff. Makes the move in front. And he opts to wait for more support. Great four check by Gut. He to the middle. Off the stick, and they can't complete the play. Oh, they telegraph 
off the pass and he picks it off. That's a textbook save by Lemonade. The silver tip top line is really a great line anyway, but their chemistry right now makes them almost impossible to defend. No wonder they've got the lead. Cutting to the foot of the net. The Cataracts get a hold of the puck in their own end. Good stop by Levelle. Here he is on the rebound. Great reflexes, another save. No time to take a breath. He made that first stop, and then the puck turns around on him again. Official signals for the players to get into position, and we're about ready to drop the puck. The frozen miss gets dropped, and we are back underway here. Maintains possession. Oh, he'd like to have that pass back. Gets it over to Booth. Everett's been quicker, more physical, and they've certainly scored more goals. This game they want never to end. And he denied him there. Great feed from the left side. Good hit on the play. Here they come on the rush. You can hear that hit from where I'm standing. He's not going to get up. He's going to need some help and attention from the trainer. Hey, James, we got to get another look at that. He's pretty rattled here. Looks like he took a pretty big hit. won the draw. Slick feed. Great plus save. Shawinigan's got it in their own zone. Can't make it work. Here he is. It's dropped. Scores. Wow. Man, you've said that a lot with this guy. It's like every time he gets on the ice, the puck ends up in the back of the net. What a night. The silver tips win the face off. Oh, what a chance, and it goes sideways. Now he slides it up to Hoffman. The winning and the puck. Goes right to the crease. And he was ready for that one. Shawinigan's in transition. Can't find his man. Quick feed to Hoffman. Picked up along the wall by Gibson. Through the... And all the on the breakaway. Oh, what a stop between the pipes. He is dying. He really is, James. The shooter's in a position to deliver the puck to either side of the net. And it's like the goalie has got everything smothered. He's right on it. Off the puck. He scores. He beat him with a quick release there, James. That thing hits the post, sure. But it's his release that gets that puck away too quickly for the goalie. Performance, at least offensively tonight, Razor. It was hard to be bad defensively. They had to pop the whole game. Good point. So they ended up pumping their lead up and were able to cruise home.
Oh, you can feel the energy in the building here tonight. Hi, everybody, along with Carl and Bay, the Ray Ferraro. I'm James Sabalski. Let's get ready to do this. All part of the team here at EA Sports. Opening face-off just moments away. The Bulldogs start with possession as we are now underway. The Silvertips grab possession to the puck. Two on. Breakaways are so interesting. You've got to go fast to get clear. Then you've got to slow your brain down to make the right decision. What a finish. Puck scooped up by Berezowski. Puck is dangerous in the offensive zone. He's got it now, and he's already got the go-ahead goal. Puck to the front. Hamilton's got the puck now. Oh, he's caught it in the open ice. And here we go. Yeah, this one was uh, to be expected. After the player got hurt, you would hope his teammate would jump in and try and defend him. Oh, a thunderous end to that one. Yeah, somebody came third in that fight. That was decisive. Did they find his tooth? I don't know if they did, but nevertheless, both teams lining up for the faceoff. Everett's won the draw and they'll go to work. The Silvertips played along the way. And that tears off a body in the lane. The Bulldogs take it along the wing. Hard hit on the play. They're gonna go. Yeah, he jumped in pretty quickly after his teammate got hurt. He wants to defend here. matchup because he's a special player and a good point getter. Fair Brothers defensive game is his primary focus guys but don't be surprised if he jumps in on the attack. Those are two players I'm going to watch closely to see if one of them could be a difference maker for their team tonight guys. Back to you. Costantini's going to smother it to get a whistle. It can get dangerous if nobody's in control of the puck. Lots of time left in this period. The Silvertips have taken a 1-0 lead. Hoffman's won the draw here in the offensive zone. Grabbed along the board by Berzowski. Slides it over with pace to Hayes. Hamilton's got the puck in the defensive end. Everett's got to hold him it against the wall. Oh, he had the right idea, but couldn't make that play with the pass. Sends it out front. Shot. And too much traffic in front of that one. Great reflex on display tonight on his part. Look at this attack here in the Ozone. And here's the whistle as the goaltender will hang on for a much-needed stoppage.
over. It's got it, and they're on the attack. Chase in front, and that doesn't connect. Here he is from the slot. Gets the piece of it, and will play on. Hoffman's back at it after serving that major penalty for fighting. He gets a shot on goal. And a quick save on that one. He bails his guys out again. I mean, he probably could use a little help. The guy's standing right in the middle of the ice to shoot this puck, but he tracks it and makes a really good save. The Apples, they're going to go. Yeah, he jumped in pretty quickly after his teammate got hurt. He wants to defend here. Oh, and he hammers him and sends him down to the ice. That's a clear decision there. Looks like the emotions have settled down. They've got calm back on the ice, and let's get this puck dropped once again. Hamilton's, and we've got a fight. Nice effective use of the wrestling move. Yeah, you don't see that all the time, but this fight has punched itself out. Both teams lined up in the face-off circle after the ice was finally decluttered moments ago. Back underway as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. Takes it to the front! rolling downhill they've got the momentum the rookie's been a big part of this dominating portion of the game they've been all over the opposition and the coach is reminding them don't take a step back keep pushing the pace they've been like a pack of wolverines out there on the ice to this point still lots of time left here in this frame the silver tips have recently taken a two-goal lead they'd love to build on it taken by Fairbrother. They've got numbers here. Tough picked up by Jack. The Bulldogs have it from their own end. Let's go! They say three is the magic number, and it certainly is for them. Well, you can't get on the ice fast enough when your team starts to score like this. This is an onslaught, and it looks like they've got no way to stop it. One out on top of the crease aggressively to make the save. The Bulldogs take it along the wall. The Silvertips scoop it up along the boards. He's in all alone. Send it back down to Ray for all. Ray, correct me if I'm wrong. The rookies look good out there tonight. Oh, I think he's been excellent. And really, it doesn't matter what you think or what I think. It matters what the coach thinks. And he gave him a little tap on the shoulder. He gave him a job to do. And the kid has been excellent tonight. Play ready to resume as everybody lines in for the faceoff. Everett's won the draw, and they take possession here in the open ice. Picked up along the boards by Hoffman. Takes it to the net, and he gets just enough of it to keep it out from the back of the net. More than half the period has expired. The Silvertips have a four-goal lead. Everett's won the draw. Fails to find the open man. Here's a chance. Scores! This is getting insane. It is crazy how often the puck tonight seems to end up on his stick. And then when it's on his stick, it ends up in the net next. What a game. Look at this. And that's the boys here on the attack. The Bulldogs to play from the defensive zone. Scooped up along the wall by Sutter. And that's broken up. Sends it ahead to Humphrey. 
And now it's over to Shirk. And sends it just out of reach. The Silvertips gain control of the puck against the wall. Lots of time left, but yeah. boy, a big mountain to climb. They really do. This is not a very good start for them at all. They've got a long way to go. Hoffman's came the line and on the attack. Here he is on the backhand. Made the stop on that play. Oh, he had to get up tight to the puck. In close, he takes away any room. Both teams are set. We'll drop the puck here. The Silvertips win the draw. Skates to the crease. Shoots it. Blocker save. And now it's grabbed by Duck. Takes the shot. Oh, another great save right there. They are really dialed in here tonight. Here's a shot. Oh, it stays out. What a save on the play. Waiting, waiting. Cutting to the middle. All sorts of pressure, but it finally comes to an end with the horn sounding. 20 minutes in the books. What a way to end the frame. We'll get the ice resurfacer out to clean the rink, and we'll be back in just a bit. Well, let's see if there was any message sent in the dressing room here before the start of the second, because it was one-sided, to say the least, in the first. Well, we've got over 20 minutes played thus far. Ray, how have you seen things? Ray, you're between the benches. Are you picking up on any of this? Yeah, I, I thought a really good reminder here from the coach to his youngest player is that you're at a point in the game where safety is better than a creative play. Make the right play the smart play. Keep the puck in front of you. Everett's offense is showing no signs of letting up in the second. I've never liked when a team takes their foot off the gas pedal. If it's your night, go score. Go feel good about yourself. Here's an opportunity in front of the net. It's on cruise control now. Is that fair to say? It is, and it looks like they're going to try and get another couple of goals here. They're not letting down at all. Handles the puck. Taken by McTavish. Moves it to Hayes. And that pass doesn't go. Couldn't make the connection on the play. Cut grab by Hoffman. The Bulldogs take possession in the defensive end. Moves into the slot. Yeah, he's a sharp save. Scores! Picks up the loose change and puts it into the back of the net. Everett's brought it tonight. They absolutely have dominated here, especially with the goal scoring. A bit faster. They played with more skill. And they are filling the net. What a fun night to play. Oh, and a misfire as that goes right out of the zone. Puck scooped up by Anderson. Through the neutral zone and into the offensive end. Oh, hello. Comes up with the puck with a quick steal. Nice flick of the stick. Aaron pass and the play's broken up. He's got a step. Score! Nice hands. Great finish. Little short break and it's in the net. Everett's on a roll tonight. They extend the lead here in the second. Everything they do is better than the other team tonight. This is a domination performance. He is locked in. He's so quick when 
he comes out to mirror the shooter. His reflexes allow him to win, and he awaits the shooter here, and then makes the save. And the shot dies in the traffic jam. Taken along the wall by Sutter. And the puck leaves the zone going back to center ice. Here's a short pass to Thomas. Hamilton's got a hold of the puck. Can't get a hold of that pass. Devastating hit. Yeah, after the teammate got hurt, he jumped right in. He's going to make him try and pay a price. We got ourselves a fight here. Oh, down to the ice he goes. That's the end of that spirited boat. Upcoming face-off here, and this crowd still buzzing after what we saw just a few moments ago. Good stand-up hit on the play. More certainly not at 100%. He's just trying to get through the rest of this shift and get back to the bench. Both teams gliding into position, and the official set to drop the puck. Hoffman's gained possession inside the neutral zone. Hamilton's got a hold of it along the wall. Brown's got it in the offensive end. Moves it quickly over to Selwiger. Oh, they couldn't connect on the play. Almost lost the puck, but hangs on here as play continues. Play taking the moment there. Finds some space in the corner. Takes it into the slot. Stopped by the goaltender getting a piece of that one. Continue to roll here in this second. You can tell which bench is having fun. They're standing up. The other guys are sitting down, hoping the coach doesn't notice them to put them back on the ice. Levels them with the hit. Picked up along the wall by Thomas. He just got rattled by that big hit. Slowly, he's kind of meandering to the bench. They got to get the door open for him and help him get into the bench to get looked at. Pass broken up. The silver tips have it against the wall. He tracks his puck perfectly to get himself into position for this save. This is not an easy one. Right from the middle of the ice. Everett's got it in the offensive zone. Cuts into the paint. Here's a shot. Oh, and that's poked away in the offensive zone by Hoffman. Everett's gained possession along the boards. Oh, what a save in front! Trying to escape the pressure. Quick pass to Gut. And this one has really put the pressure on now. Takes the return feed. Moving to the net. And a big time stop there. Here's it around. are putting on an impressive offensive display tonight here late in this second period. What's always funny to me about this is you talk to the coaches before the game and they tell you, oh, I'm not so sure about our team. And then they come out and play like this. He was totally locked in on that play. Oh, Sometimes it's just your night to shoot the pocket goes in the net. He's had an unbelievable evening. The buzzer bringing period number two to a close. Hey, listen, we've got lots more in store here on this broadcast. So don't even think about going anywhere. We're back with more It's been a total mismatch here as we get underway for the third. Let's see if anything changes. Once again, I'll send it back down to my broadcast partner, Ray Ferraro, who was at ringside. Ray, we've got two periods played. How do you see this thing? Officials are set. Players seem ready. We're ready to get this thing back underway. And play resumes as the puck is dropped. 
Quick feed to Berzowski. Here's the chance on the attack. Drives to the sweet spot. Follows you around and you can't score tonight. Every time it lands on the stick, it's in the back of the net. What a great night! Here they come on the attack down the right side, and that shot gets caught in traffic. With the steal, oh, he got all of that with the blocker. What a stop by Drobak. Drobak's no different than anybody else tonight. I mean, that's a good stop that he makes, but he hasn't been very good. And the team has played rather poorly. The Silver Tips will go to work here in the offensive zone. Deflected away. Nice defensive use of the stick there. Hamilton's game possession. Oh, they probably want to redo on that. Driving right to the front. Comes it aside with the glove. That's a goalie favorite save right there with the glove. Oh, that didn't look very good. After that hit, he just stayed on the ice. Not really moving very much. Scores! Jump size on the rebound and tucks it in. Everett's having a lot of fun out there tonight, but Ray, I can imagine it's a different story on the other side of the bench. Yeah, half the guys out here are having fun. The other half, this game can't end quick enough. The Silver Tip top line continues to feed off each other. The confidence of this group is really something to watch. They get the puck, they know they're a dangerous line. And tries to make a diagonal pass to Morrison. Moves inside! And that's deflected off someone in front. Oh, he'd like to have that pass back. Hammers a shot! Trovac's gonna pounce on it, and he'll take the whistle. He's usually a pretty conservative goaltender anyway, and so the opportunity to kill the play, he's gonna take it. Officials ready to drop the puck and get things back underway. Back to the point it goes. Snaps it on it. Nice save from point blank range. He's been really good on these high danger chances, and here's another one right from the slot. But he's tracked that puck to keep it in front of him and make the save. Scores! Oh. Man, you've said that a lot to this guy. It's like every time he gets on the ice, the puck ends up in the back of the net. What a night. Hoffman's won the draw inside the neutral zone. Drives it to the crease! You think after three you might let down? Not him. They keep coming. Hoffman's won the draw. Let's see what they can do with possession. From the slot. This shot. Oh, and he somehow got a little piece of it. And it stays out of the net. Sometimes you're in close. There's no room to put it anywhere. The goalie smothered it all. Now they'll look to see what they can do with it offensively. The Silvertips played along the boards. Moves it over to Winterton. Everett's got the puck along the boards. Oh, what a chance, and it goes sideways. From the back of the cage with the puck. Here's a backhander. Oh, man. He's going to be shaking his head over that one. Yeah, you just don't get many up them. And when you do get a chance, you want to put it on target. Look at the attack, and the fans are loving this right now. as you mentioned, but he's able to hang on to it. That's a tough save from this position on the ice. Both teams are set. They're ready to drop the puck. Offense is on face off, and he wins the draw. On the back end! Oh, what a stop by Drobak! Chance on goal, and he makes no 
travesty Kabbalah. Puck picked up by White. Moves it to Winterton. Can't make it work. Picked up by Puck away. Walsh. What a finish on the Puck away. Breakaways are so interesting. You've got to go fast to get clear. Then you've got to slow your brain down to make the right decision. What a finish. Everett's won the draw. Can't make the connection on the pass. Manages to hang on. And he gets a piece of that one and denies it. Excellent chance. They work the puck into position, and it's a scoring chance. It's turned away. Oh, look at that! My goodness, the pressure really building here on the offensive end. Takes possession of the puck. Takes possession now. Oh, what a save! And there's the whistle as the goaltender will give his team a much-needed rest. Everett's won the face-off. Well, it's not like you're trying to get it that close, but you can get the bounce if you take it. That isn't it? The Silvertips have really been strutting their offensive prowess and been impressed tonight. I really have. They can put it on cruise control now. A large lead here in the third period. Here they come on the attack. Shot! Oh! Turns it aside once again! I guess this is another reason the position is so hard, James. You make that first save, but you're not done. Here comes another one. You've got to be in good enough shape to make that second save. Centers get set as they're ready to drop the puck again. Hoffman's won the faceoff deep inside the offensive zone. The Bulldogs gain possession along the wall. Here's a short pass to Hoffman. To the front! He scores! You talk about that on the ice. This has to be right up there. Man, it's like he's at practice. Every time he shoots the puck, it ends up in the back of the net. What a game for him. The silver tips looking against the half wall. Hangs onto the puck. Right on the doorstep. Decides to go to the backhand. His reflexes and display tonight. I like how he's able to follow the puck. Good saving club. And it takes off a stick in traffic. And a stick in the lane ends that throw. My goodness, this has been a pressure-filled shift here. Covers up on the play. The goaltender finally gets the much-needed whistle. It's about time. That looks like a fire drill out there. And breathe out there. All right, well, we got a breather in action. Let's check in with our own Carlin Bay that runs side. Their brother has been fun to watch as he's been able to generate more offense, guys. He's getting my vote in this one. Oh, he had the right idea, but couldn't make that play with the pass. Less than a minute to go now here in regulation. The Bulldogs have a hold of it in the defensive zone. Moves it to the middle, and it carries off a twig in front of the net. With the blast! Fantastic save! On the back end. Oh, another quick stop! They are really starting to apply the pressure here in the offensive end. And look at this cycle here at Bullpen. Takes the puck here. Look at this! There's the save! They are really putting on the heat of the ozone. How often the puck tonight seems to end up on his stick, and then when it's on his stick, it ends up in the net net. What a game. There's the final horn sound, and putting this baby to rest. The silver tips are living up to that old cliche. When you're hot, you're hot. Doesn't seem to matter how the game goes if they have a bad portion in it. They turn it around, and they're able to get themselves back. Towards the direction they need to play. Another win. We are far from done from this tournament for Ray Farrell. My name is Shane Sabalski. The CFL.
Now, as we bring Ray Ferraro back into the show, how are you, sir? All good. Awesome. All good. Uh, you know, we've talked so much about kind of the, the draft rankings. What do you make of the kids so far here in this tournament? Well, it's uh, it's an interesting time for a kid going into uh, you know into his draft that he now knows is just a, a month or so away. I, I think he's played well enough that his draft stocks probably climbed a little bit. It puts himself into into the position to be a higher selection in the draft. I I would say upper end of the first round is where where I think I can picture him. Yeah, no, I certainly like the way he's played. You know, a couple of other players we've been keeping close tabs on. Moment of truth, you've won a Memorial Cup. What's the message you're saying in the room? Oh man, well we win it. I mean everybody is is so pumped. It's like it's the it's the peak of the mountain for a junior player. You will never play games as important of, as this at this age. And so a chance to become a junior hockey immortal goes down tonight. Memorial Cup final here on EA Sports. Puck is dropped, we're underway. Give me a sense of what something a win here can do for the kids. Well, of course, from a team standpoint, you win the Memorial Cup individually. Those players that are draft eligible, they can change their draft status. Man, this kid is a goal scorer. He's been his whole life. And even when he gets to the Memorial Cup, it doesn't take him but a moment, and he's on the board. Lots of hockey left to be played in this period. We've got a one nothing hockey game thus far. Shooter, the goaltender snuffed it out. The Silver Tips get a hold of the puck along the boards. Here's a backhander. State save. They've really got him on their heels here now. And look at this tremendous puck movement here. Dishes it off. And the base goes to the other end. And they go the other way as they clear the zone. All right, while we have a quick second, let's bring in our third member of the broadcast crew, our own Carlin Bay. Looks like a swarm of bees out there. Ray, what are you seeing on the bench? Well, the coach has gone to the rookie, and he wants him to continue with what has gone on. They've been aggressive. They've been all over them. They don't want to take their foot off the pedal. More than half the period left to play. Everett's been the better team here over the last few minutes, increasing their lead to two. And now it's grabbed by Gibson. And that's broken up. Moves it quickly over to Hoffman. Oh, and he gets a toe on that one to keep it out. Does it again with a stop. Quiet goalie can never relax. He makes one stop. Now he's got to be sharp to make another. There's an injection of energy with that hit. Well, James, you run around like that, you're going to have to pay the price eventually. And what that means is you're going to have to fight. Here he goes. Good old-fashioned Donnybrook here. side and you're happy when it goes down to the ice because you know help is on the way story of my life in elementary school Ray well cooler heads finally prevailing here as both teams step inside the faceoff circle play resumes here as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone cuts to the paint taken by Duck stays 
with it. Receives the pass. The Silvertips gain control of the puck. Dubé's got it into offensive territory. Monsters hit the boards. You got to get up close to the boards. When you know that hit's coming, the only way you can absorb it is to get close and just take the hit. Looks like lineups are set and they're ready to get things back underway. Past the halfway mark of this period, Everett's got some breathing room as they lead it 2-0. Face off here in the neutral zone, and we are back underway. They've got some momentum here. Oh, what a save. He scores for the Reigns and Pours. And they are just coming out in buckets right now as they get three straight. Really a dominating performance. The Silvertips win possession here in the open ice. Pass back to the point. Even with the traffic starting to close in, he had to grab that when he did. The Silvertips win the faceoff. Here he is, shot right in front. He was left in there. are set. They're ready to drop the puck. Just here in the late stages of this frame, Everett's latest goal has now given them a four-goal lead. Takes that pass back at the point. Cutting to the front of the net, and he's peeling off to regroup. So Winnigan's got the puck in their own end. Can't find his man. Everett's got the puck along the boards. Cologne's going to opt for the whistle and give everybody a chance to breathe. Sometimes you get running around. It's the shift gets long. This helps. The Silvertips take possession off the faceoff. Chance in front. And a huge stop by the goaltender at point blank range. Haas has it in the defensive end. It's got the puck along the wall. Picked up along the boards by Sutter. Moves it to Hoffman. And that's just out of reach. He almost lost it for a second there, but regains control of the puck. Here's a short pass to Hoffman. Winding down the final minute of this opening frame. That opportunity's rejected. Feeds it on over to Bourgeau. The Cataracts moving ahead. Here we go. Pucks in deep. Everett's got a hold of it against the wall. Unable to reach that one. Great positioning in the defensive end. Stretches one out to Ledoux. So Winnigan's got control of it now for their own end. And that'll put a bow on the first 20 minutes of action here tonight. We've got lots more still to come. Second period is just around the corner. Opening face-off for period number two, about set to go. Here we go. Lots of time left in this one, but certainly a lopsided affair to this point. One period already in the books. Ray, how have you seen this thing? Efforts determination to play their style of game overwhelmed by the first period. They had the puck rock. They really smothered their opponent. Now they've got a nice lead. The Silvertips will play the puck from behind the net. Couldn't catch up to that pass. Cologne's going to cover up the puck here for a whistle. 
reversal. He makes the safe play and kills the play before any other damage can be done. Still early on in this frame, James and Ray with you. So glad you could join us. It's been a route thus far. 4-0 is where we're sitting. Everett's got control of the puck. 